Hi, Erwan for Motion VFX. In this video, we will learn how to use the plugins from Motion VFX with vertical projects in Final Cut Pro 10. Vertical projects can be used for stories on social networks, but also for screen advertising. I will show you that it will be very easy to use the plugins, and I will give you some tips and tricks to boost your stories. First, we need to create a vertical project. To do so, just go to the File menu, go to the New, Project, in the pop-up menu, name your project. In the video format, there is no vertical preset. So go to the custom menu in the resolution values, invert the values. So we will have 1080 for the width and 1920 for the height. I will select 25 frames per second for the frame rate, as my footage are 25, then click on OK. So we can see in the viewer that we have a vertical project. Nice. Let's add a clip inside. I will drag the statue of Liberty clip directly inside my project. As you can see, Final Cut Pro 10 adapts automatically the width of the clip with the width of the project. We can correct this by going into the inspector and adjust the scale value. I will set the viewer to 25%. By clicking on the transform tool, I can sync the boundaries of my clip. So I will need to adjust the position of the statue like this. Perfect. Now I will start by adding a look on my clip. In the Fighters library, I will select the MFIM look folder. Inside, there are many presets ready to use. I will select this one and drag it over my clip. Of course, with MFilm Look, you can adjust all the parameters. In this case, I will reduce the lens blur and modify the basic adjustment directly inside the viewer. In the inspector, you can have access to all the parameters and effects. Here, I will reduce the exposure. OK, I am happy with this. Let's add the title. In the Titles library, I will use the M Title Max Titles. I can preview the title animations by skimming the title. I will select this one, number 22. First, I will adjust the duration. You can see that the title doesn't fit inside my vertical project. To resolve this, I will adjust the scale of the content. And I will also adjust the Y scale parameter of the frame to match with the vertical aspect ratio. OK, so now I will modify the titles. I will remove the titles on the side. And I will enter New York 2020 for the main title. I will change the font. I will move down the title. And to pop up the title, I will increase the opacity of the color background. OK, that's nice. Let's see how we can stylize those clips. To give more interest to this clip, I will add some glass distortion effects with mPrism plugin. mPrism adds some cinematic prismatic effect to your shot. It really adds values to your shot. There are 50 presets available. I will add the first one to my shot. There is a nice distortion effect that I can modify directly inside the viewer. Inside the inspector, we have access to all the parameters, so we can deeply customize each preset. I will add a title from the M Title Max Pack. I will adjust the size and the position. To keep my title until the end of the clip, I will deactivate the animation out. As you can see, it is really fast and easy to add nice effects and title animation that will add a real value to your shots. Let's go to the next clip. In this one, the color grading is nice. I just want to add some light texture. 
To do so, I will use the MMovie Lights plugin. It will add some light leaks and lens flare to the shot. I will add this one. Of course, you can modify the position and the rotation directly inside the viewer. I will adjust the opacity inside the inspector. With these stories, I would like to create some interaction with my audience. So I will ask them what will be my next destination, Brooklyn or Manhattan. To do so, I will use the M Stories 2 in the titles library. M Stories 2 is a pack of elements that will help me to create unique stories. You will find several elements like smiley animation that you can add to your story and customize it. But also, here I will use this title to ask my audience my next destination. In the inspector, I will change the text, and you can see that the text background adjusts automatically the size, depending on the length of the word. Inside M Stories 2, you can find also complex titles animations. All these titles will step up your stories. Very easy to use as you just have to drag and drop it over your clip. All these titles are designed specifically for vertical projects. There are modern, graphical and classic titles. As usual, it is very easy to customize all the parameters inside the inspector. You can use Stories element as a main element, like this one, which integrates three drop zones. So I will add three clips in the three drop zone. I will adjust the size of the clips. As you can see, the ratio is not the same, and to fit the four frames, I need to scale down the size. But it doesn't fit all the Polaroid drop zone. It is not a big issue, as I've got also control of the position of each Polaroid. So I can readjust the three pictures. I will also modify the text. And the background color to give a more urban color. I will adjust the duration. Also, here a tip, don't hesitate to apply a look on the top of the titles. It will unify all the elements and create a nice overall effect. Here, I will add the MFIM look preset and adjust some parameters. Let's go deeper in the integration of the titles for your stories. This is a new project for a summer trip in the USA. For the first story, I would like to add a big title. I will still use my MTitle Max package and add this title. I will adjust the duration, the size and the text. The text is nice, but I would like to create a better integration with my video. And I would like that the text go behind the worker. I will show you an asterisk to do quickly this kind of effect. 
First, I will copy my clip by pressing Option key and add it over my title. In this case, the background is mainly a blue sky with high luminance, and we can see that the worker is darker. So I will use a basic Luma Keyer from Final Cut Pro 10. I will apply it to my copy. In the inspector, I will switch to the matte mode. It is more easy to see the mask. So I would like that the worker stay opaque and the sky go transparent. By playing on the white and black levels, I can push the value of the mask, but I need to invert the mask as the worker should be white and the sky black. I switch back to the compositing mode to see the result and polish the effect. I will adjust the duration of the text, as I would like that the worker act like a wipe. I can also adjust the position of the text. For the final touch, I will create a compound clip of the three elements and add an MFIM loop preset on it. Adjust some parameters. And it's done. For the last example, I would like to promote the backpack to my audience, as it is very robust. To do so, I will use mcallout title specs. Inside this package, you will find graphical animation for many cases. Here I can use a weight preset to show how robust is the backpack. The cool thing about mcallout is the fact that there is a planet tracker integrated, and it is a very powerful tracker. To show you how powerful it is, I won't use easy pattern to follow, like the black strip for example. I will track the blue texture of the bag, like this. As you can see, even if there is no contrast element to track, it follows perfectly the motion of the bag. So now the analysis is done, we can check the result. Perfect. I will adjust the position of the title. I would like to add a swipe up notification if some people would like to buy it. So I will go back to the M Stories 2 package. I will add a dedicated title for the swipe, like this one. And I just have to adjust the position. To conclude with this shot, I will add an MFIM look preset, adjust some parameters, and it's done. As you can see, all the Motion VFX plugins and titles can easily work with vertical projects and boost your content for your stories. I invite you to go to the Motion VFX website to discover all the content available. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.